Apollo, the Sun God, a parody monologue by Scott Walker. Apollo, the Sun God, setting today, Athens, Greece. A small apartment overlooking the sunset, Apollo. Dad said all I had to do was drive the chariot. Once a day, he said, around the earth, he said. He never told me how I'd get back home, just up, up and away and fly across the sky. Well, up was the easy part. Even though I had to rein in four maniacal horses and climb to the nethermost tip of the atmosphere, gasping for breath, and yes, even gods gasp for breath. But the worst part was constantly rebuttoning my cardigan. Knowing that, even though I was driving a chariot of fire, its heat and light was focused down on the earth and I was facing the void, the nonsensical blackness of the void. And all I had to comfort me was a pack of Twinkies, a six pack of Zero Cokes, and a hefty bag filled with blue M&Ms. My old lady packed them for me. She knows I only eat the red ones, but she likes me to sparkle and says she's blue without me, so I should be just as blue without her. So, now my hands and lips are covered with blue sparkly bits. <laughs> ah! And Mars says his is the only candy that never melts in your hands. He never raced up to the heavens in a flaming chariot of fire. He never understood blue, wiped his hands on his tunic, wishing he'd remember to bring a dozen packs of handy wipes. But I survived. I learned how to hold my horses and when to let them have their heads. I learned how to keep my ass from freezing off as my face and nuts roasted to hell. Mostly, though, I learned to carry an extra ever-ready battery pack in my tunic. Yes, down there. Purge your dirty minds. You're as bad as my sister Minerva. She used to look at me, running her hot brown eyes up and down my body and ask, Hey, big boy, is that never ready in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> what she and none of the other gods knew was that my trip back under the earth in Pluto's Stygian realm was like driving through ink because the moment I flew into hell, Pluto blew out the flames on my fiery chariot. It was as if they were a mere candle on a kid's birthday cake. And without heat, I shivered all the way around the backside of the flat earth, bumping God knows what, night after night for 16 million years, turning as blue as my old lady's M&Ms. And now my brother Zeus tells me I've graduated. No more solar trips for me, just quiet evenings at home with my old lady Venus. And yes, she has arms. The statue you've seen isn't Venus. It's a perverted attempt to focus your attention on her boobs, which, I might add, are hotter than any god's chariot of fire and still make my batteries hard. But now, all I have to look forward to is my retirement check from Edna, my monthly allotment of surplus cheese, and playing bingo with the harpies every Saturday night in a sleazy Olympic bar. So you tell me, which would you rather be? The glorious, virile god of the sun, or Apollo Edgelopolis, cheese-eating, bingo-playing retiree with melted M&Ms dangling off his fingertips?